Scissor siblings, come see your boy live in Palm Springs, California, Des Moines, Iowa, Lexington, Kentucky, Chicago, Illinois, St. Petersburg, Florida, Houston, Texas, just added New York City, and look out for Austin, Texas. Tickets to JeremiahWatkins.com. Now let's get into this episode of Scissor Bros. If you poop your pants, you disqualify yourself. Now Steve is looking at me with a lot of anger. What did you just say? Are we on, brother? We're ready to go. I said, because uh, I come up with brilliant ideas on the fly, <laughs> and I said that, oh, dude, we should eventually do a booger eating challenge contest. Yeah, let's get right on that. I don't like the unenthusiasm with a lot of my ideas. What are you talking that, about? A, and Steve, I, I want to eventually. Steve, I, I fart, love that. The fart thing for one. Steve, we'll I love get, that idea, man. It's. It's really exciting. I think it should be on the top of the docket for our challenges. Okay, can we? Because we're we we like to communicate, right, and be transparent. We like to be crystal clear here. On okay, Scissor so let's Bros. be. Let's get to the crystal. Um. Yeah, the dark crystal. Let's go. Not the dark crystal. The clear crystal. Ah, Skaxies. I love that you did did that. I love that you did that. Um, for our hundredth episode. Because it has to be special, right? Wouldn't you say? It has to be. I mean, whether it's the guest or if it's not the guest, what do you, what else do you think that has to be kind of be sprinkled in there that's special? You think it has to be a, a challenge? A challenge that has to be special? Yeah. Then what are you thinking? Are you are the you booger thinking? eating challenge? I don't think that's hundredth episode material. I think it's it's perfect for a hundredth episode mm, material. I don't know, man. What are you afraid of? Are you because um. Oh, can I hold on? Hold on that. What do you what what, what do you about can to I do right now? The challenge, because it, it, it. Go ahead. Go ahead. And then and then okay, so we never. It's very rare that we do this. Uh, but basically, what's happening is we are going to get into the challenge. It's going to be the challenge is going to be throughout this entire episode. Okay, now, first up, there's some milk that is right there next to you. Go ahead and grab that that cup of milk. What what can I ask you a question? Yeah, about it's it? e it's completely equal. It's whole no, milk. No, no, no. Is it so? This is not. It's organic whole milk. It's whole milk. Yeah, organic. But you already know I'm lactose intolerant, so you know this is gonna do something to my system. This is gonna. You might even have the upper hand by me me get, letting us have milk. Okay, can I ask you something? Yeah. At this moment, is that out, out exterior noise bothering you? I'm powering through, and I'm choosing to ignore it. But somebody else... Because last night when the helicopter was above us, it was bothering you. Yeah. And do you hear the trash can? I hear all of that stuff, but Steve, you're, but I'm you're, trying you're to power blocking through it out. because I said that I was presenting the I'm challenge. Because I'm trying to know about uh, like these little minute details about what bothers you, too. And then... It, it sounds like it's right outside the... the you'll garden. eventually... Hey, bon appetit. Okay. Now, I would like for you to cleanse your palate, and this will help. Dude, with I got chewing tobacco in my lip. Why did you keep it in there while you were drinking the milk? That's so gnarly. Okay, now we're going to eat this. And you can choose to keep the dip in or not. This is all part of the challenge. This will make sense in a second. Oh my god, my body already is like, what are you doing? Great. This I'm is so sick. This is <laughs> This is not gonna be good, guys. Oh, <laughs> this is Dude, all... I swear to God, I feel like queasy. Well, this like is gonna, gonna soak it up. Like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Can we? We haven't even explained what we're doing yet. <laughs> Go ahead. Get, let's get to it, okay, man. Okay. Well, first we have to eat this. Okay. Man. Catching Steve on the right side of the bed this morning. You know what? <sighs> let's play a clip of me trying to contact Steve before the beginning of this episode. Okay. Just tried Steve one time on his phone. It's a uh, clearly on Do Not Disturb. Gonna call him right back. 
see if I can get through. Let's see how I do. right now so I'll leave a message mm. and I'll go back to you. The double fail. This is not looking good guys. Not looking good. Now why Ooh. would you do something like that? What do you mean man? This was today? This was today. Bon appetit. I think about it bar. So mm. tell me what is this? What's in here? Is it dairy it's too? No, it's protein. Dairy too? It's peanut butter and chocolate. You're why gonna love it. Did you explain the challenge yet? No. It, I didn't. <laughs> Let's get to it, bro. Okay. Gosh. Okay. I'm sorry. It's a... <laughs> sorry. We're, what? we're doubling up this week. That's why we're doubling up. And um. Okay. So, as we eat this, I'll explain to you. Last night, Steve and I ate Taco Bell at about 1:30 in the morning. I did not eat, and he did not eat until right now when we're drinking this milk, and. These peanut butter chocolate protein bars. And we're going to roll some footage right now of us at Taco Bell. Going through the drive through at Taco, Taco Bell. Bell at Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. At Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. Tell them what we're doing at Taco Bell. Well, do you want to explain? We're going to get... Okay, so what's happening is we're going to get the same food... And this is the night before we film Scissor Bros tomorrow, right? Uh huh. So we're getting um, beanie bean foods to get the fart the fart situation. To basically see Gone. who can fart the most on the next Scissor Bros. On the next Scissor Bros. So we're getting the same menu items and making it happen. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Oh, there you go. Yes. Love it. Oh. What's their hottest sauce? They're fire. Fire, a lot of fire sauces, please. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So, how are you feeling, man? Do you feel confident that I got you beat one zero? Nope. Starts tomorrow. I know. Oh. I got a Baja Blast. Oh, so that's a good, damn good drink, isn't it? Oh, I love Baja yeah. Blast. What do you like yeah. about? It? Oh, there you go. Yeah, I got you a Coca-Cola oh, yeah, here. Yeah, baby. Put that down I'll there. put them in between my legs. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, so, Tom, so whoever farts the most... The most. ...wins. Wins. And what's the punishment? We'll tell them in the episode. Tell them in the episode. Here we Perfect. go. Oh, thank you. So, tune in. Um, uh, I need my car back. And we appreciate... The support and if you haven't checked out our patreon go to patreon.com slash scissorbros we got the exclusive content over there folks you know here we go thanks man thanks of course for, thanks for the taco bell brother yeah dude yeah we're we gonna park and then get, get going get oh. rocking and rolling rolling and rocking yeah. yeah can i actually um you can cut it. I'm gonna get more fire sauce. <laughs> you can cut it, dude. No, no, no. I want to document it. I want to see how you do social engagements. I'm just gonna play. I know, I know, I know. You're sauce. a nice guy. I want to see you. You're a nice guy. Come out. It's the hot. It's not Ooh, fire. It's okay. I like the fire okay. sauce. That's, well, he's busy. He's a busy man. No, no, this is the good stuff. This is the good stuff. You can cut God it, damn, look at that handsome guy. You talking, hey, about you know, talking about you, brother. Oh, can I uh, get uh, uh, this is a bunch of hot sauce? Uh, can I get a bunch of fire sauce, please? Fire sauce? Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. See, that's the nice guy I wanted to see. Oh, that's thank all you, I'm dude. asking oh, for. Killing it. There you thank go. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for staying with us, and you're probably still wondering what's going on. The person who farts the most into these mics. We have, we have, fart, fart, we mics. have fart mics. Shout out to your mom's house, mm -hmm. the original fart mics. We have fart mics. 
where the person who farts the most, it's not the loudest, not this, it's the most frequency, wins. If I win, Steve does not get to do Stevie's Fart Corner for three weeks straight. If I lose, though, Steve gets to open the next episode with Stevie's Fart Corner. Like, top of the show, prime time slot. <laughs> we agreed to these terms last night. If you poop your pants, you disqualify yourself. Steve also said, what if I poop my pants and don't tell you? And Ryan and I said, that is one tactic. Now, Steve is looking at me with a lot of anger. Well, there's a lot of going through my mind. And frustration. Right yeah. So, keep the It's basically over the course of the hour. We have, we ate the exact same things at Taco Bell. We're eating the exact same thing right now. And this is a challenge. I did enjoy the potato uh, taco. The spicy potato soft taco. Really, really good. good. Really good. Really good. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of. This is disheartening on several levels for me personally because I have, I mean, previous to this, I've I've already gotten kind of negative DMs and, I mean, they're well written, uh, just uh, about how they don't like the fart corner and how it's just not meshing with the show well and how it's taking it's it's going into a different direction they don't like and so by you saying so three weeks huh yeah but also get this we're literally this is a fart challenge that i designed for you brother so there's still love thinking of this because i know you love it can we begin can we begin the fart challenge let's begin well, can you stick the mic near your anus? Thanks. Beginning? Dude, my, the mic is in, near my anus. Oh, come on. I thought I had one. Oh, no, not yet. Um, but we could still talk while we're doing this, right? Of course. No, okay. no the podcast is going to go on It's not going to be on hold. And, no, no. And like, it's it's like, like we just okay. organically do it. Okay. Whenever we want I'm to. still a bit traumatized, bro. Like by... Uh, by what? Well, I saw your butthole raw. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, you brought it up last night too, but that I know, but I want to bring it up right now. I know, I know, I know, I know. Cause I, I know. want the folks to know how traumatizing that was. Well, that was on me. Patreon. I could I don't care. This is, I don't care. I mean, I'm not, we're not showing anything. I can, we could talk about it. Yeah, again. Yeah, we, yeah, we can talk about it. Why did it traumatize you? Well, there's several factors. It was the freedom that you, the, the, the non-hesitation, <laughs> just your, it was like you sprung into this character and then it's like the way you the way you sprung up and turned around freely like 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 a male ballerina or something and you turn around and then the way you it was the way you took your two hands in like you did like a perfect porno spread like like a gay butthole spread and the way, and then the way your knees were together, and it was just like, what is he? And then it just disgusted me. I was like, that's disgusting. I don't want to ever see that. And then you poked your little red eye right towards me, didn't you? Yeah. It was just like, boom. It was like an oval, and you, well, go ahead, dude. I'm trying. So, I mean, I just wanted to bring that up. It, it bothered me. I don't know why. I'm still trying to... um analyze that night or that day it's been it's been haunting you just the image i wish i could unsee that because i'd already seen it with the turkey baster and i'm like i was just getting over that and i'm like i don't want to see another version of that but when you're like kind of peacocking your ass out at me but it's fine would you feel better Wait, let's come again <laughs> Would you feel better if you showed me your butthole? <laughs> Would that even the playing grounds if I had to visually see that and that burned into my mind? That's not a bad idea, actually. Think about it. Think about no, it. No, wait, wait. But this is the thing. I want, I want this episode to be like smooth. Okay, okay, okay. Do you want to do it for Patreon? Yeah, that's fine. What's going on in your mind right now? Are you, are you doing like some like Miyagi fart tactic thing? Like, what's going on? I don't know. It seems like you're like just waiting to get like 
one up on me as well, far as getting the first fart. I would like to get the first one out, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Um, I think I'm getting like a, like like butt shy. Really? Yeah, like gun like gun shy. When do you fart like the most? At night, right? When you're lying in bed? No. Unless I'm unaware of it, but... Okay, because I, yeah, that's when I usually do most of my farting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Let's talk about, uh, you told me about kind of, I mean. Just really think about it before you segue into it. What do you think about you're, it? You're upset about some stuff that's going on with your place right now. Thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> You said you first to talk of all, about it. wait. You first of all, that rain. It. I mean, that freaking th- whatever the well, flash, flash flood, flood thing. Flash flood warnings in LA was crazy. Yeah, it was. It was insane. I told you, I took water at my place too, dude. It was how many? It was like some places were like five to seven inches of rain. Yeah, and um, some places got sixteen inches. It's insane. In the in Northern California, yeah. And you already know how long I've been in my place. Yeah, a long time. I had drips and leakage coming from my ceiling. Mm. And can we show that? Your footage? Yeah. I wanted to document it just to have a record of it. So there's a leaking from my roof on corner of my ceiling. Every time it rains, just wanted to document it. That was from the major rain, but when I went to Arizona, I was gone for longer than usual, and it rained when I was gone, right? Right. So... One night when I came back, um, I was watching, uh, I don't know, YouTube con- content and just laying in bed. I have this little uh, iPhone stand and I noticed this these little fly things, like a fruit fly thing, kind of. Um, I've never seen the flies that you showed me a picture of. <laughs> I've never seen that species of fly before. It kind of scared me. And you don't think it scared me? Okay, so that I just want to give context to that. Yeah. So I'm like, you have a picture or video of that? Well, yeah, I do. I'm gonna get to it, bro. Let me get to it. I'm like setting it up. You know I'm how gonna... I felt about me setting up the challenge now? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. See, okay. that's what we do. We check each other. Okay, cool. You're right. You're right. You're okay. right. You're absolutely right. <laughs> I just swatted it away, and then I'm like, I saw two more. I'm like, huh? I'm like, I guess there's only two or three. I ignored it. I didn't realize, because this is like the night I came back, I didn't realize there was a whole kingdom of these things on everywhere, on the corners of my ceiling, everywhere. You know how you freaked out about one cinnamon crisp flying on the side of your uh, car last Are night? bringing that up. No, imagine, let me let me rephrase that though. Let me rephrase that though. Hundred. We're eating Taco and, Bell, and Steve, a cinnamon twist flies out of his hand, and he goes, "Would you be mad if I couldn't find it on the floor?" And then you know what you did? Find it immediately. I did not say it like <laughs> but that. But that was the vibe. That okay, was the vibe. Okay, You're like, okay. no, 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 no. We can't have that. You got to find that. You got to find that, Steve. I'm like, really? It's one. And dude, the cinnamon crisp was like a broken Cheeto, bro. It was like this big. It was a half an inch smaller. And dude, there's something there, bro. It's one. Ryan, dude, that was a stutter. That was a three or four stutter machine gun fart, dude. Listen. Oh, yes. That's one to one. Yeah. Let's just discuss what just happened. That was a one. No, 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 no. Steve, it was one. No, 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 no. Followed no, 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 by no, no, no. Ryan. Can you? You got You got to clench your cheeks and separate them by time if you're gonna get points for a different one. So anyway, when um, I ignored the initial fruit fly things, I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. But then the next day, I remember I was doing. I turned on that 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 lamp over there, and then I kind of like noticed like, 
I thought they were ants. So I'm like, oh, and then I look up and they were everywhere, dude, like these things. And I documented it after I uh, I went crazy, bro. I, I, I like got all kinds of sprays. I was like, yeah, I was losing my mind. And I called the landlord. I go, yeah, we got a pro- uh, severe problem, man. Um, sorry, Lupe. Um, I got, you know, I got a whole family of them here. I don't know what kind of insect species this is. Some of them are winged and I, I need immediate extermination. You know, they don't care. My, I'm not going to say that. They never back? They don't respond to anything. Dude, they don't care to the point where what management company doesn't have an email? Ooh. They yeah, don't even rough. have an email. And I and I thought about that and I'm like, oh, the reason why they don't have an email because that's legal documentation. Oh, a paper trail. Paper trail. So they're smart. And you know what? This is what they did to me. So I could say her name, right? Her name I was would, Lupe, but I'm not going to say the management company, so it could be a fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, but anyway, so what they do, so one, you can't contact the management company, right? You can't contact them. You can't fax them because it goes to this thing and uh, the, <laughs> yeah, the messages We're are sorry. overloaded. The or, number that you called is not enough. Exactly. Order. And so when you call the, the person, what they do every month or every two months or whatever, they switch the person. So... The person you thought you were dealing with, they 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 put it on someone they else. They diverted it to somebody yeah. else. Yeah. So they like get you like going in a circle. So yeah, I have footage of it. Okay. So I noticed after the rain, there's a bunch of these winged ant things all along coming through this ceiling part. I had to spray all the way along the the ceiling, the edges, they're coming all over. They're over here as well. So I need help. I need uh, some kind of spray treatment or something. Uh, I just want to document it. Yeah, they're, they're just, they're everywhere. And they're also over there as well. So I just want to document it. So at the end of the day, um, I can't, I, I don't kind of, I'm on, I'm on Zillow religiously. Really? I'm looking, bro. That is why I the, think I need to Steve, change, bro. Can I, can I think, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, something else. Steve, you saying that sentence out loud that you're on Willow religiously is the Not most. Willow, of, Zill, Zillow. Willow's a movie. Let's just get that. Oh, I've been watching Willow. That's why I said it. We need to timestamp that, dude. That bothered me so much. It's not Willow. I, it's Zillow. I just rewatched. Timestamp that. That bothered me so much. Dude, please. Let's just pretend that never happened. Pretend that never happened. Can you happened. imagine if Willow was the site that you were on all the time? Let's say that one more time. Alora Dannon. I do a pretty good Willow. I kind of like that. Yeah. Because it reminded me. Right? Alora Dan and I am the chosen wizard. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of when you do the. I am a great sorcerer. Can you kind of do that again, but more Asian? No. <laughs> I can't, dude. Okay, okay. So anyway, wait, let's go back to the Zillow or Willow, whatever you want to say. Okay. I'm on it. You saying I'm on it. that you're on Zillow religiously is the most adult thing you've ever said. Really? Yeah. Dude, only people who are like adults are like on the Zillow game and they're they're like that's like their vision board. They just go in there, they swipe it like Tinder. They look at different houses and apartments like, ooh, I wonder if I, I want to live here one day. Oh, this would be great. Maybe if we get our Patreon up, I could possibly move to a decent place. Steve, less on the promotional side. Wouldn't a little bit, that little be bit less? Wouldn't that be special? Steve, a little huh? bit less. A little bit less. Man, I've been just a little bit more organic. A little I've been more fucking organic. rough rugging it in that little box for about eighteen years. Steve, a little bit we're less. Giving the such, we're giving them such. Hold up, we're giving them such unique content. We you just know started what I'm doing saying? the bonus episodes a couple of weeks ago. And not only we that, and I'm I'm glad you brought that up. If they join our Patreon, 
They get a whole brand new bonus episode. This is not that's the way, peculiar. This is not the way that's to promote peculiar. it with, with hostility. I think that'll give them enough incentive to really join it. I think you want to be a little bit more positive yeah. when you. And when I, you and I think that I don't think they, they want to, me to live in a a, a bug infested apartment <laughs> with leaks everywhere. I wouldn't put where, it on our audience to make sure that you live in a better place. Where and scorpion type things crawling on my ceiling. I don't think they want me to live there. They want me to live in a safe environment. The Patreon would have a lot, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> um, so, I do like your energy today, though. Thanks. Um, I uh, ah, you know what? Let's scissor some. Let's scissor some. Uh, yeah, let's scissor the, out the, the bugs the, and the, yeah, the bug energy out. Can we scissor the bugs wait, off? Wait, of wait, me? Can we do it with some noises like some? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, let's do ten though. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, um, can Could, we do a dance break right now? I think we need it to really encourage the positivity. And we okay, do it in the so middle. let's keep on to the theme of the, the bugs. Of, of Let's do the fruit fly dance then. Can we meet in the middle? But you have to do a fruit fly. Okay, great. With the, okay. Oh, wait. I forgot the music. It's fine. Wait. Can I add it in later? Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Are you fruit flying at home with us? <laughs> we hope you are. Comment below if you're joining in on the fun. Re release that negativity out of your life. You can and tickle me too. You can tickle me too. It makes it so weird when somebody's telling you that you can tickle them. Because the whole point of tickling too. is to catch somebody off guard. Steve wants to be tickled right now. You can tickle me too. Okay, okay, alright, alright. Alright, right, I can go to the dance break, alright. I want to talk about tickles. Um, so, okay. do you think tickles the clown? No, just tickling. Wouldn't that be a horrible name for a clown? Tickles, tickles the clown. Hi, kids. It's, it's tickle tickles. time. It's tickles the clown. <laughs> Gather around, kids. Hi. Ready to get ready to get tickled. I'm gonna <laughs> tickle you until you bleed. Yeah. <laughs> it's tickles. Can you picture tickles the clown going on a date? Hi. Shut up for the date. It's tickles. Guess what I'm gonna do after dinner? Give you my pickle. Ah, <laughs> and ah. you're gonna get tickled, then you're gonna get the pickle. Um, do you think that on a date, that's probably one of the worst things you could do? Is... Tickle on a first date? <laughs> Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? Bro. Dude, that would be a good future challenge. Here, here let's. A tickle challenge? <laughs> That's actually pretty funny with feathers and different things like that. And the first person to say something out loud or even react like, yeah, that's a pretty funny but challenge. We would kind of have to be naked a little bit, huh? <laughs> I didn't mean to ruin it. I'm sorry. Let's okay. just pretend I never said that. Oh, we got to address the punishment for this last challenge. What are you talking about? Oh, so the twerk. Yeah, if you guys watched the twerk episode oh, that we did, brother. Um, we basically. Oh. Oh wait, hold up, dude. Dang. Damn, is he up two two one two one? See, that was a long one. That only counted All as right, one. Dude, it's fine. That's fine. So on the twerk um, episode of Scissor Bros. Steve lost that, if you haven't seen that episode, and his punishment was he had to post on social media a twerk video with the captioning of my choice on his Instagram for one week. Now, it was up for, was it even up 24 hours? Yeah. Ma uh, barely. Barely a day, yeah. Barely a day. Dude, I was losing hundreds of followers, man. Can you, hundreds can you and read, hundreds and hundreds, man. Without saying their names, can you read some of the DMs that you got? I erased them. Dang it. I erased negative stuff, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, people were offended. <laughs> what do you mean they were offended? Like, dude, it's gay, bro. You know, like that type yeah, of thing? Dude, yeah. it's gay, bro. What are you doing, bro? Ugh. Unfollow, you know, and I'm just like, yeah. oh, dude. You know. How many followers did you lose in 24 hours? Uh, over, th- a little over 300. <laughs> was never the intention of the punishment <laughs> oh, dude i didn't mean to offend you know the main point is because i should have like put my foot down as far as the caption because you wrote this is the <laughs> caption it said it's so, so it's me shaking my ass and it says i love to twerk and then something else it said I, subscribe to our patreon, subscribe to our patreon. <laughs> what were the hashtags it's oh, oh hashtag yeah, they, dance, they were bad. Hashtag life, hashtag men. <laughs> hashtag... <laughs> Dude, and it's like, you know what? At the end of the day, it's like I just I don't want to offend anybody. You know, it wasn't meant for that. It's like obviously I didn't want to do that. Oh, I completely forgot. What? You just removed yourself? Or you wait? You deleted it? Yeah, you, I deleted. it. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I forgot that you uploaded it. What? I thought sometimes when if somebody if like the Scissor Bros account would have uploaded and you just removed yourself as a collaborator, it still would have lived as a video on the Scissor Bros side. But since you deleted it, it went away on both. Oh, accounts. my God. Thank. Thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah. Scissor Brothers. You know what I just realized? What? I'm wearing a San Diego Padres jersey. It's not even baseball season. It's football season. Yeah, come (laughs) on, man. Football fans, it's time for the wild card round. And you know the best action is always with DraftKings Sportsbook and an official sports betting partner, the NFL. To kick off the road to Super Bowl 57, new customers can bet just $5 and get 200 in free bets instantly you know personally i think that the chiefs are gonna go all the way what do you think yeah you know i gotta i gotta be on the same page as that partner okay boom well, i'm gonna bet big on DraftKings. plus all new and existing customers get a no sweat bet each day of the wild card round this weekend just place an nfl bet of your choice and if it loses you'll get a free bet up to ten dollars action so good why bet nfl playoffs anywhere else Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code SCISSOR and you and new customers get $5, can bet $5 on the NFL and get $200 and free bets instantly. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with promo code SCISSOR, minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. details. Go! Oh! oh, 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 oh. Hey, Stanley, look what I'm having for dinner. It's a kimchi bowl noodle. Ew, it's gross. It's carbs. Get it out of here, Eunice. Okay. Start off 2023 with your own personal chef. Factor shops, preps, cooks, and delivers to your door so you can enjoy chef-crafted, dietitian approved minus the hassle. These fresh, never frozen meals and are delicious and nutritious. We love these guys. The chef's choice options always taste great and are simple. With calorie smart and keto options, not carbs like that, <laughs> Factor meals are perfectly portioned to keep you on track with your goals. Factor now offers over 34 meals per week and over three dozen add on options. Each Factor meal arrives pre-prepared by their team of chefs, ready to eat and eat in just two minutes. You're ready to heat and eat in just two minutes, too. Yeah. Head to Factor75.com slash SecretKeeper60 and use code SCISSORBROS60 to get 60% off your first box. That's code SCISSORBROS60 at Factor75.com slash SecretKeeper60 to get 60% off your first First box. box. You know, Stanley, I have my own box. Oh, yeah? That's one secret that I don't want you to keep from me. <laughs> Factor, Duh. get your meal just like you want it. Anytime, <laughs> any day, any night. They'll prep it for you. I can't wait to eat all those meals. Factor. Hey, big and Do you like what you see? But you're so frustrated that you, this is censored. Well, guess what? On Patreon, these bad girls come off. <laughs>
That's right. You can only get the exclusive at patreon.com slash scissor bros. You'll be able to see Steve's dry You'll be able to see Jeremiah's butt You'll be able to see a lot of things we can't show on YouTube, but it's only at patreon.com slash scissor bros. We're dropping a new bonus episode every single week on our Patreon, so subscribe now for as little as $5 a month. Patreon.com slash scissor bros. And tell a friend. Let's do a couple dances. Oh, wait. That's for Patreon. That's right. Patreon.com slash scissor bros for the exclusive, exclusive content. Oh, that's great. Um, so, um, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't meant to, you know, what, it, what, whatever. It just, I just don't want to offend anybody I like that. I never meant to hurt you. I never meant to make you cry but tonight. I'm cleaning out my closet. Got something for them? Yeah, we're gonna go into song. Steepy lost followers. Because he put it out on the line. Too much man and too little time. Gluteus Maximus would have been his Roman name, but he was not celebrated but shamed Stevie didn't ever want to twerk again Shaking his booty all night long and this was the end Goodbye, twerk. I loved you. Goodbye, twerk. Stevie says, salute. I will never, 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 never twerk. And I will never, 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 never twerk. Man, when you want to end, you cut it off. <laughs> so thanks for um, acknowledging that. And um, But dude, you have to admit, is my butt pretty good? My butt's pretty good, dude. You had a lot of cottage cheese. <laughs> Timestamp that first. I'm serious, dude. That That's... That's unacceptable, dude. A comment like that, dude. And you're my scissor brother? Seriously, Ryan, please. I really need that timestamp for real, dude. That's some serious. George, make sure you keep no, that in, No, no, no. <laughs> Even my cuz was saying, dude, the cellulite, man. <laughs> Bro. He's like, us leaves, we take pride in <laughs> Being, you know, our bodies, and I just can't believe you let yourself go like that, bro. It's the cellulite, man. The cellulite needs to go, bro. Terrence, what do you think of Steve's cellulite? <laughs> there is nothing light about it. He has more sap running through him than I do. <laughs> and Joel, uh, shut, Joel, still, because I'm, I'm already projecting into the future. Joel, please don't do art with cellulite or the twerk thing. Please, I, I beg you. Do your cousin co told you? 
Did yeah, he goes, dude, the cellulite has to go, man. It's, yeah, dude, you have cellulite. Yeah, he kept saying it. I was like, <sighs> I'm like, really? <laughs> and uh, Do you think- it's fine. It's fine. I, I, at this point, Does cellulite run in your family. <sighs> <laughs> the wrong things, man. <laughs> Gerald, what are your thoughts on my cellulite, brother? Stevie, looking real good. Ass real fat. Looking so good, I would hit it from the back. Okay. Right, that was a little inappropriate, but oh, we'll let okay, slide. yeah, um, yeah. I just need to, uh, yeah. I just, that's fine. I I should hike more or something, or skateboard more or something. You know. Well, you you were talking to me last night, and we can cut this out if you want. But you're saying that you gained some love weight. <sighs> I'm just pushing all the wrong buttons right yeah, now. No, it's, it's fine. It's fine. And you know what buttons to push. Um, <laughs> okay. 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 You know exactly what buttons to push. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna, that's your nickname now. Jeremiah the button pusher. <laughs> he knows what buttons to push, everyone. The exact buttons. Um, I think it's a common thing during the holidays for couples is, you know, yeah. to, to gain some weight, right? You're, you're, you're at home, you're with family, there's feasts, you're eating a lot, you're eating a lot of, uh, you know, whatever sweets and dude, I, I, I'm, I, I'm going to try to th- slim down a little bit. I know I'm a very skinny person, but I am getting some like a little bit of man titty kind of action. You, you mentioned that last night. Yeah. I can tell in just pictures and stuff like that. What was that? I can tell in pictures and. Can and you stuff lift like up that. your shirt real quick? I just want to see a little bit of that flab. The no, mint. not when you put it like that. <laughs> I want to see. Oh, are they? So you're getting mini, mini, micro, granny boobies. I don't like what you're doing right now at all. No, can I just take a look? I just because I need some context of as far as the what what it visually looks like. Because I don't know if, like, I want to see some evidence here of, I want to see what you're talking about there. I would prefer not to. Why not? Because. Why you, not? Would you, if you're trying to get a girl to take her shirt off, is this what, how you would probably No, but your mind's different. We're scissor bros and, come on, man. Come on. Let's just, seriously, man up. Let me, let me see, pull up your shirt. Man up. Show me your tits. <laughs> <laughs> Man up. They're a little bit. Okay, no. yeah. They're a little bit just. What? Just a little, you know. Just a little. Ryan, correct me if I'm wrong. Do you see anything there? Mm, nope. What are you, dude? That is so ridiculous that you think that those are boobs? Just like kind of getting a little floppy. Ryan, did you see anything? I seen a slim, slim, tender body, my friend. A hard, tender, uh, you know, athletic body. There, there's nothing there. I have bigger boobs than you. Do you? Let me see. Now, Ryan, do you see anything when Steve lifts his shirt? Nah, Steve, you're you're doing fine too. You you're sweet. <laughs> You're you're sweet man. Thank you for <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, did you gain some weight as well? Yeah, a little bit. My wife's pregnant, and when when she's pregnant, there's more like treats and stuff for pregnancy mm-hmm. cravings around. So like, yeah. I jump in on them too. And can, the holidays, yeah, yeah. Can, can I bring up the fact uh, you said something to me because we were doing ad reads the other night? Yeah. And you said something. You're sitting at my computer, and you're so firm. You said something to me, and it reminded me. Of like, I'm like, oh, he sounded like a father just now. Can we kind of talk about that a little bit? Yeah. yeah. You said something and I'm like, and it made me think like, and it put things into perspective. I'm like, oh, he's he's going to be talking to his little one like this when, when you know, when he gets older. And, right. And I asked you like, how are you still doing this? Is there a manual? Like, what's going on? How are you doing this? How are you raising another human being? Step by step, day, day, by by day. day by day, step by step. That's a sitcom. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I, 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 didn't, I didn't see that one. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you just did. Learnt- you like the movie Willow? I you got see- very, very strongly when I mentioned. I accidentally said Willow instead of Zillow. You, you went. I think it's. Is that the one? It's an '80s classic. Warwick Davis. Yes. 
Warwick Davis. I'm thinking about Time Bandits. Uh, it's been so. Is long. he in Time Bandits too? I don't remember. I do. Not many people I know know Time Bandits. I love that movie. I just remember I have. Have we talked about that on here before? I don't know. No, I, don't no. I mean, I just I don't. I I just remember how it made me feel and. Because it was so... When did that... That was a long time ago. There's a ago. new Disney Plus series I've been watching. They brought it back. What, Time Bandits? Willow. They did... You know, I saw it on a bus in LA. Yeah. Was it a short bus? <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Because, you know... No, I got it. Good one. <laughs> Good one. You're sharp. Oh. No, I saw a long... A long kind of like the, the art of it. It looked cool. So is it good? Oh, I like it. Is it's, it cool? Uh, it's fun. You know. Can you tell us the, the premise again of it again? Basic, I don't think that's the one I haven't seen. I've seen all the other ones. You didn't see the Labyrinth, original Willow? Labyrinth, Dark Crystal. Willow's the one I don't think I've seen. Huh. I need to see. go back and see that. Cause Dude, it's, it's a classic. Is that like Jim Henson or? No. I don't think so. No, that's Dark Crystal. Sorry. Yeah. No, go, go ahead. So is it, a, is it wizardry? Like, was it yeah. like? So... Gotcha. Yes. So go back to Willow. Um. <laughs> so it's this house app that I use, and um, I'm looking for different places like apartments and. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, it's uh, it's about this this unexpected sorcerer. Basically, the message is like like it's kind of it doesn't matter like how you look or or who you are like you can become anything great that you want to be yeah where'd you just go man i'm getting sad about what whoa you got some tears in your eyes what's going on man just my fart segment you know what do you mean i feel like it's gonna disappear and you're kicking my ass so it's okay man you know i'll let it go it's good it's cool it doesn't have to completely go away, but for a few weeks, yeah, if okay, I win, I'm sorry. I just, so get I to fart. I got, I, got, I got into an emotional state right there. Hey, but let's go back to Willow. <sighs> You're a good actor, dude. You are a good actor. I you did really it. are, man. I slid a good one you by s- you. Huh? Yeah, you did. Did you see it? Build that up? was like... Was that some Goodwill hunting shit or what? It was Starburst level. <laughs> <laughs> that was better. Dude, that was better than the Starburst level, okay? Let me tell you something. That was better than the sour face. For if you guys don't know, dude. Steve was in a national dude, Starburst how, commercial. Dude, that was 2000 what? I don't care. 2000 right, and let's talk about it. Everyone look up Sour Starburst Chinese restaurant. That's me. I'm Jimmy. I'm Jimmy. That's Jimmy, guys. I'm Jimmy. It's so good. Look up Sour Starburst Chinese restaurant. Steve, I'm Jimmy. Do you know how, how weird it is that like, do you know how many years? I booked some commercials in my day, I know, friend. But I always. I booked some work, I friend. I was in all kinds of commercials, friend. I saw friend. that commercial when I was a, a kid or a teenager, whenever that came out. And I was like, that guy's funny. Who would have thought that I would be living do a you good. Re- are you just saying that? I'm not just saying that. I was like, this this guy's funny. This commercial's funny. And who would have thought that I'd be doing a podcast with you and that you're my scissor brother? That's it's just insane. weird how the future works That's out. That's insane. Isn't that really? crazy? Yes. I remember that. When I you realized- You were in Kansas? Yes. When I realized that it was you in that commercial after we'd already been podcasting, it literally blew my mind. I was like, I've seen this a c- commercial a thousand times. Dude, I made some good money on that one, bro. Where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> that is a good question, isn't it? Went through my ceiling and it's dripping back down through the fucking oh, no. corners of my, my apartment, man. <laughs> Into some pots and pans. Did you, you have know? fun? You had fun. You had oh, fun with dude, yeah. I mean, that was um, God. I, I was doing good with the commercial game at that time, dude. I did yeah. a. I think I did a GM commercial. I did a Taco Bell commercial, McDonald's, Kodak, Sour Star. You know, I would, I was booking some. I got some. Would if I mean I wasn't like a Ari Shafir would you or ever, a Ren is Easy if, or anyone. If I got but, you, if I got you a commercial agent, would you go on auditions again? Um, I don't know. I mean, is that even a desire though? Would you not, even want to really. do it? Then okay, then I yeah. like doing this. Cause this I is like our, doing this with you. I like doing this because it's our thing. thing. It's Ooh. our thing. And this is what I, I'm glad you brought this up. This is what I don't like about any auditioning process. It's, it's a not, mind game. It's not your thing. Not only that, there's a lot of like evil psychology involved. I agree. Me, 
Meaning where the Are ca- you good enough? Yeah, well, the casting agents like they know you like you're desperate for something and they're like, Okay, slate that way now. You know, and then you're just it's like a cattle call type deal. I don't like it. You know? And then even the people in the waiting room, they're kinda like it's on some fake shit too. Like everyone's kinda like you know what I mean? No one's like talking to each other. Everyone's just like there's this nervous energy and or fake energy where they're like overly friendly like you know they're like because they're trying to stay optimistic because there's so much failure involved yeah i mean there's way more failure than success yeah when it comes to that. have you done an, any kind of audition where you make it to the last callback i'm talking about can when i you tell hear- you about my most degrading audition ever this is the stuff i love go ahead i'm gonna be quiet for this go ahead this was a non-union thing, obviously. It wasn't affiliated with the union, so which means it's not legit. It's like a, a step above a Craigslist audition. What year? This would have been 2000 and probably 9 or 10 right when I moved out to L.A. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I don't want to put my pants on that one. <laughs> I had to push really hard. I almost did. Whew. Anyway, 2009, 2010, circa around that time. Uh, it's a, I got it off something of, uh, I self-submitted uh, for the role. It was on LA Casting. And I forget exactly what the breakdown was. Um, oh, I, no, I remember. The role was guy on toilet. Oh, wow. That had some zing to it. Okay, go ahead. The role is for guy on toilet, and it was like a quirky dude, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, I fit guy on toilet. I submitted myself to guy on toilet. Mm-hmm. I was desperate. Really needed money. Just was trying to book what, any kind of commercial. What company was it for? It was some European company. I didn't even for, recognize for what it. what product? What is it? It was some security, like a Norton antivirus okay, or something okay. like that. I go in, and... Uh, they say, okay, you're just for a guy on the toilet, uh, you know, slate, all that stuff. And then they're like, okay. Do you remember where the audition was? In that, um, this is in somewhere like- in somewhere in Hollywood. I don't remember okay. where the audition was. Uh, the guy who's running the session goes, all right, you're on the toilet now. Act like you're taking a shit. That's what he said to you? That's what he, the verbatim what he says to me. I go, uh... Okay. Was it, it I thought a, I was going to be texting or something. Was it a chair? Or was it? I was just sitting in a chair. You're sitting in a chair. Yeah. And that's supposed to be a toilet. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm like, so I'm like, you want me to actually act? He's like, yeah, go. So I start like, I start pushing and like making noises. And he keeps telling me like, now push harder. Like you're really straining. He's so coaching he me. Directing He's directing me on how to, to take a shit. Yeah. Get this. This is where it gets. And oh, this is man. this is not me making I, it up. I do not like this guy. This is where it gets really weird. And I don't know why. It was a comedic commercial, but I don't understand why he gave me this direction. And sometimes when you're an actor on set and somebody's directing you, you do it in the moment. And then after you do it, you're like, why did that person ask me to do that? You kind of feel a little bit taken advantage of, right? absolutely it just happens because you're in the moment and then they're like do this do this and you're like uh uh, okay he goes act like you're jerking off this is real (laughs) yes he said act like you're jerking yeah act like you're masturbating act like you're jerking off i was like what he's like (laughs) dude i would pay five hundred dollars to see this audition (laughs) i would pay five hundred dollars to fix your ceiling (laughs) <laughs> Come again. I didn't catch that last part. <laughs> I didn't know it was the Wild West with Wide Earp in the corner. Uh, sorry, partner. What did you say? Come again, partner. Button pusher. Button pusher. <laughs> so I start miming masturbating, and he's like, Now act like you're getting into it. Can you do it like you're in the audition? Yeah, I'm like literally like No, no, commit to it. That you're half you're doing it 15%. I want full commitment. Go ahead. How about we don't get demonetized again? Okay, you're right. Good job, Brian. <laughs> I, wow, I, I felt like I was just back in grade school. 
right now. Yeah. Did you? I, I don't I know. I like that Ryan said that. I know. I That's like the, his job as a producer. I know. Is I know. To do that, Ryan. I know. You did your job. Good job. Thank you. Continue. Yeah. Good it's, catch, Ryan. It's the it's the M being that gets us DQ'd and DM d- demands. Is the what? <laughs> the the wordage. <laughs> NBs. It says the MBs. N N B M Bs. M B. What do you think that stands for? Yeah. Okay. Why are you looking at me like you can't understand? No, 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 no. Because no. I, I thought you all. said NBs, but you said M M as a manic. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Well, this story is. I'll have to clean it up a little bit because yeah. where this goes is a weird direction. So I do it and I feel weird. And then he tells me to do it to completion, blah, 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 all this stuff. Uh, I do it. Uh, he said, that's great. Super funny, blah, blah, blah. We'll be in touch kind of thing. I get a call. He's like, the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of a real cryptic scene. <laughs> What'd you, what'd you think about? I thought the next thing you were gonna say is, and the next thing you know, he turned off the lights. <laughs> <laughs> and then his next request was, "Hey man, uh, so you're gonna have to get naked now." <laughs> this is a, this is a weird non-union LA casting gig. This dude calls me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This I'm dude sorry. calls me a day or two later. Uh, okay. And he goes, oh. hey, you booked it. <laughs> that was good. Okay. And I was like, you know what? I've had a day or two to think about this. <laughs> and I'm actually not comfortable doing this role. <laughs> it took you that much. You finally realized that. Yeah, after I left, because it job. happened all so quickly in the moment yeah, that, like, when yeah. I left there, I was like, "Oh, oh man, I don't want my family back in Kansas seeing a commercial like, I'm like, TV- <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want that." What kind of company is this? It was a European company, okay. so it probably would have played on the internet, dude. The European commercials, dude, their restrictions is- are way different than ours, dude. Like, I don't so know- they have commercials. Of people- Shit. Dude, there's pe- oh, there's girls man. like that are topless in certain European that's commercials. That's crazy, man. They, there's a, that's they, crazy town, man. They don't have like an FCC like we do. Oh, it's completely man. different. So you called the casting person? No, no, he called me. He told me I booked it. Isn't that supposed to go through agencies Dude, or managers? Dude, this was low level stuff, oh, so man. He had I didn't even have an agent at a time. He called me directly. I wrote in my cell phone. That should be a red flag off the top. He called me directly. <laughs> yeah oh my god i love this story so, continue so, so then when i say hey um i don't i'm actually not comfortable playing this thank you for the opportunity he goes what he gets angry he switches from nice guy to angry he goes he goes i already told casting i already told casting that you're my guy and i go I, i'm re- i'm really sorry but I, I don't I don't want to do this. I don't I don't feel comfortable playing this role. He goes, I know the president of LA casting, and you will never work in this town again. Click. And I'm just I start shaking, looking at my cell phone. I'm brand new, fresh off the boat from Kansas, and I think that this guy actually has pull. <laughs> Time off. <laughs> oh, that's a great story, man. Good one, man. Real good one. That's a good one. Oh, man. I'm so sorry I had to deal with that. That's not a good experience. Dude, that's traumatizing. I left out I left uh, out before I booked it, though. That's traumatizing, I, I, brother. I left out an important part oh, of the story. Oh, man, that's a good one. I left out an important part of the story. What? A very important part. We're going to go back, and you're going to really like this part. After I left the place feeling gross about myself, I got an email notification that I got a call back for it. <laughs> and I went to the call back. Oh, man. <laughs>
<laughs> Wait. You're stupid. <laughs> you dumb person. <laughs> get, <laughs> and get this. Get this. At the callback, they go, Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Were you just here? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Can you read? <laughs> they go, they go, they go, so we've decided to go in a different direction and we've changed the role a little bit. And I, I had relief. I was like, oh, oh, thank God. I didn't want to be guy on toilet. Yeah. They, they go, how flexible are you? <laughs> the story just keeps getting better. <laughs> I was really proud. I was, yeah. like, I was like, I'm actually really flexible. Yeah. Like, I, that's like, like one of my comedic things. Like, I can high kick. I can do the splits. Like, uh. I'm really flexible. They go, great. All right. We've changed the role to guy who's doing yoga who's sucking his own <laughs> I'm this so dude... glad you have representation now <laughs> <laughs> they would never send me on something like that yeah <laughs> whoever's representing him kudos to you <laughs> please don't put my boy through that again yeah dude so that same guy who was telling me to, to you know, Dude. to MB and and go pee pee in the toilet and all that stuff. Dude, that's he's the, in the good room. stuff, man. He's in the room. That's the stuff I personally want to see, dude. Can we? Is, is there somehow we could like go back in time? Hunt those audition tapes, man. Oh, oh my that god, would be that incredible. would be incredible. So. Dude, mine too. My bad yeah. auditions too. Uh, dude, that would be so funny. This story's not done yet, brother. It's not? No. I'm oh, sorry for interrupting. You're going to love where this goes. So they tell me it's yoga guy who's you know, S and is on D, right? And I'm like, uh, uh, okay. I'm that desperate where I'm like, yeah, that's better than guy on toilet. Okay. They go, okay, well, start doing yoga for us and... Um, now that guy's in the room. There's like a European, more like Swedish or German guy. He's like, thank you for coming in. Uh, <laughs> he's like, we really liked your first audition. <laughs> it's really funny, really good. Um, I get on the floor and they're like, okay, show some different poses. And and I was like stretching, doing their stuff. And they're like, okay, now. Are you sure this wasn't for the human centipede? <laughs> A little poo came out of that one. It's fine. Keep going. They asked me to hike my legs up over my shoulders. And I do it. My feet were touching the ground behind me. I had my feet, my legs looked like this. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> you know? And they're like, oh, that's great. That's hilarious. He called me the next day. That guy called me, booking me from the callback. And that's when and when I said I wasn't comfortable doing it, that's when he exploded on me. Oh. After I had gone to the callback. Oh. Because like they're like, oh, this guy's a ride or die. He, not only did he nail the audition, he's willing to S his own D. Yeah. So he exploded on me on that. So, but I didn't know what to do. I thought I was being canceled in Hollywood before I even started for one hour. Then an hour later, somebody else from the casting company calls me and goes, we heard about what happened on um, that phone call that uh, our other casting director called you about. We want to apologize. We, will, we want to um, apologize and we'd like to offer you a different role. I'm dying to hear the roll. Go ahead. They're like, guy who's shaving his own pubic hair. Dude, I have my own commentary afterwards. Keep going. And I was like, oh, I can do that. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. I booked it. They booked me. I, I drove up to the hills of the mountains of somewhere in LA. I don't even remember. These winding roads. It was at this like super fancy mansion. I was like, am I going to get killed? I don't know what's going on. They had a full-on shoot there. A bunch of Swedish people. They're like, I like your hair. Very, yeah. very, yeah. Very pretty. Yeah. <laughs> it's when I had long hair, you know. 
And uh, I, I think I know where this is going. They're like, okay, um, can you pull your pants down? Of course. Because <laughs> it was for a gay German porn. <laughs> Dude, I refused. I was like, all right. <laughs> Dude, I'm so sorry you had to go to Yeah, yeah. No wonder why you freak out over little things. Like the cinnamon twist. Because <laughs> you, you had a loss of control. <laughs> you want to be in control now. <laughs> and back then, you weren't in control of that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You had to go through that, man. Oh, my God. But that's so basically I wouldn't pull my pants down because they wanted me to show more pubes and like closer to the base of my penis. And I was like, no. And then I was like, you can fake it to shoot it a certain way. So they they got me to pull it down to the very top of the pubes. And I I acted like I was shaving. They gave me two hundred dollars cash. And then I left. jobs you could possibly oh yeah oh yeah oh my god aren't you glad you're not there anymore i'm so grateful that thank you for supporting us whether it's (laughs) stevie weeby show whether it's scissor bros whether it's jeremiah wonders or stand them on the spot all that helps helps us not do those weird creepy gigs where i have to go on those auditions that we don't like and we are not like excited or happy about yeah, I'm very grateful to be here with yeah, you, brother. This is this is a dream. Yeah. Just doing this. This is and, the dream. Yeah. So I'm so sorry you had to go through that. At any point, did you think that this was kind of like a catfish type scam? Where, cause I was sounded, too green. I was too new, dude. Because it could have been worse. No, no. It could have been it a been bad situation. Like German ball busters or something. You know? Yeah. Like, I drive like, up to the middle of nowhere and they're and like, no, like, no, no, no. You're, you're getting, getting naked. naked. You're getting and naked right lube, now. And then they like, they lube your butthole. Okay. 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 $200 though. Yeah. yeah 200 It was cash, 200 huh? or 250 cash. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. What'd you spend that money on? Do you remember? Grocery, you probably, groceries. Of course you did. Yeah. Of course. Groceries and rent. That's why I spent yeah, money. Yeah. Man. Yeah. I was just trying to just trying to get by, okay, you know. So let's just do this. How much are we good on time here? Yep, we're we're pretty much through. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so you want to plug something or? No, no. If you have thirty more seconds for a fart or anything, he's saying this is the yep. this is the countdown. Oh, because you're up one. Yeah. I got one. You did get one. Is it sudden death right now? Sudden death. It's sudden death. Frick. Can we, while we're doing sudden death, can you tell me, since you did the worst, that was your worst, right? When you say one of the worst. Yeah. Can you tell me your best? (laughs) Come on, you son of a Looks like it's going to be Stevie's fart corner for for your own out. Jeremiah is the winner. In overtime, baby! I almost pooped right through my jeans, brother. (laughs) For three weeks, there will be no Stevie's Far Corner. (sighs) Thank you, Jeremiah. Thank you to all the supporters of me who don't want to listen to that. Can I make a suggestion on the Stevie's Fart Corner? Can, how, can we change it to the blue flame corner where people are sending in blue flames? Because those are more rare than just audio recordings on a phone. I'm just making suggestions, but you can, I don't want to mess up your segment no, if you, no, if you no. want to I'm keep I'm open it. to that. Are you open to it? Yeah. I'm just to make to it, it more special? Yeah. yeah, I'm open to it. Can you guys capture a blue, blue flame? Because we haven't been able to do that on the show yet. Yeah. So let's change it for now, the blue flame corner. Send in video to what is the email that you made? Show at gmail.com stevieweebyshow at gmail.com I, see but I don't like see I still love you though I'm very competitive but I don't like how down you are about this decision that you don't get to do it for a few weeks no it's fair and square I agreed to the to the guidelines so it's fair yeah wow yeah you won okay yeah do you want to plug anything or anything like that oh Stevie Weeby Show um uh, 
YouTube and your and stand up on the spot. And, oh yeah, there's yeah, a support new, those things. There's a new episode out. Yeah, with, and I'm uh, still working on my album. So, so can I ask you something? When yeah. I finish my thing, can we do like? Can we Dude, start posting you, on the Steve? Season? I will. Uh, can I just say this to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want to say thank you to you. Yeah, I'm very grateful. Yeah, you have been so supportive of me with my stand up and yeah. stand up on the spot. Oh, absolutely. That like, dude, when your album drops, we could put a little I will banner do or something. whatever you want, brother. Thank you. Like That's I'm, all I'm asking. Literally, yeah, I'm talking like help. you asked me if you want to collaborate on stuff. If you yeah, want yeah, me to yeah, do yeah. profile oh, okay. posts, we're gonna plug it on oh, here. I appreciate I'm it. Honestly, oh, dude, yeah. I'm aware, and the Scissor family are aware. I'm, I'm like, taking my time with it, and I think it's yeah. And everybody wants you yeah, to I want to be do a good successful project. and yeah. succeed. Well, I just and, it's, I just want to do a good. It's like art to me. I want to you know. But I I want to say this. You, you, y'all are so supportive of me with, I know I plug a lot of stuff. I, I do a lot of projects that mm -hmm. I'm, uh, where I'm performing live and doing different stuff like that. You never ask for anything like this. I really want to, for you, this, I am though. I, I am asked just for, cause it means a lot. I, you yeah, never, cause I don't have anything to promote other I than want that. to us to support it in such like a storm, like yeah. where you're like super happy and proud of the results. So like whatever yeah. you need, uh, whatever you need. Cause I'm putting my time and effort, you know, it'd be different if it was just a throwaway. I'm like really putting time and effort no, into no, it. No, no. Yeah. When I hit up Steve some nights, uh, he uh, said, like, hey, you want to go grab food or something? He's like, yeah, I'm actually working on my album right now. I'm like, yeah. great. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, so I'm three songs in already. <sighs> yeah, so, yeah, so I'm like, I I just I just want, uh, I mean, the the more promotion, the better I feel like, you know. Sure. It wants to, I appreciate that. Yeah. No, no, absolutely. You got yeah. it, dude. I'm stoked. I'm very yeah, stoked yeah, for you. I appreciate it. All right. Love you, guys. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. Um, huh? Is anyone still there? It's your pal, Gerald, and I just want to say, I think we've been on kind of a fucking hot streak lately with our episodes. Feel real good. And over on the Patreon, the uncensored bonus episodes have been getting real buck wild and buck nasty. So, hope you guys are enjoying life and, uh, Making sure that you're not dipping your pen in the company ink too much, but sometimes it happens. All right, well, I hope uh, you have a great weekend, and thanks so much for tuning in, and we love you guys, and you know where we'll be next week, right here for you. Love you guys. Bye! Gluteus Maximus would have been his Roman name. But he was not celebrated but shamed.